Hey YouTube, before I start my makeup basket video, I just wanted to come to you all and tell you all to just thank you for all of my new subscribers. I did a collab video with a group of awesome, gorgeous ladies here last week, our Living Coral Spring collab. So I am sure that I got some subscribers from their channels. Thank you all so much for being here and I hope you like what you see and you stick around. I just wanted to come by quickly and say that before I start my video. The video is going to be starting in just a sec. Bye. <music> To welcome back to my channel this is my makeup basket for the week of March the 24th I pulled out a couple of things I haven't used in quite a while which is like pretty much what I always do when I do a makeup basket but you will see the first thing I'm going to um, show you is like this weird combination of foundation that I'm going to be using this week because my skin is doing like something weird like it's getting pale like it's March and my skin is like really pale all of my foundation seems to be looking a little bit orange on me which is annoying the heck out of me because I spent money on these foundations and they don't seem to be working so I am going to do like this weird combination of foundation this week and I'm going to be mixing the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. And I did that today. The Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation in Chai. With the Lancome Tint Edol Ultra Wear, Ultra Wear Foundation. This one looks a little bit lighter. But it's a little bit more to the orange side. And this one looks a little bit more neutral. So, I am going to be mixing these two together this week to wear. I am also going to continue to use my um, It Cosmetics CC Plus Illumination Cream. This one is good for me now because my skin is a little bit paler. Normally, I would be going more towards mixing this with the deep in the summertime. And when I have a little bit more color to my skin but for right now rich honey seems to work pretty well for me so those are the foundations that I am going to be using this week um, for my concealer it is going to continue to be the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer also I have been wearing out these two concealers from elf and i actually think i left the um chestnut one upstairs but these are the 16 hour camo concealers this one is in the shade deep olive yeah deep olive i've been using this one the most on my eyelids to sort of cancel out the darkness before i put my eyeshadows on and uh, that's what i'm going to continue to use this one on and the chestnut one I'm going to continue to use under my eyes, over my lip, that type of thing. I am just remembering, I was supposed to review the stuff that I used last week. I did have a request to review the things for my basket from last week. And I took everything out and forgot about it. What I will tell you is that the eyeshadow palette that I used the most last week was the Morphe 35V, the Stunning Vibes palette because it had like the most variety in it so that's the one I ended up using the most last week I think I also had this in my basket as last week this and the deep chestnut one I'm going to continue to stay in my basket because I am really really liking those and um foundation I think last week was the it cosmetics CC cream of course you all know this, this is one of my favorite sort of non-foundation foundations it's more of a corrector slash anti-aging slash spf type all-in-one type cream so this is one of my forever favorites this one and the one without illumination and the bye bye foundation anything in a tube from it cosmetics is my favorite 
those are some of the things that were in my basket last week that I can tell you about that are continuing to stay in my basket, except that 35V palette. I have all new palettes this week, and we are going to jump right into those. The first one that I'm going to show you, I actually used today on my eyes, and this one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette, and... It looks like this, and like I always tell you, I don't use these, so I don't even bother to take the plastic off of them. But, like you don't know, this is what the Soft Glam Palette looks like. I was going to pull out that Subculture, but it was looking a little bit too far for me, so kind of left that one in the drawer. I might still pull that one out next week, so if you see it, don't be surprised. Also, I pulled out from Tarte the Love, Trust, and Fairy Dust palette. Absolutely love the packaging on this palette. And, and this is what the shades look like. And they are in the shape of a flower. I think that's really cute. So we're going to be using this. I pulled out and I did a video on this palette this week. And I couldn't wait to put it in my basket. The Naked Urban Decay Naked Reloaded palette. And it looks like this. Oh, also in my in my um, basket from last week was the Sultry palette. I love that palette. So FYI, just a quick review. I love that palette. But it looks a lot like this palette here, which I did say in my video last week. So this is what I'm going to be using. I think this one is a little bit more usable than that one because you have a few more brown tones in this one than that one. But yes, this is the... Urban Decay Naked Reloaded. I pulled out a palette from Christmas, definitely. And this is the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette. I don't care what time of the year it is. These are my color. So I'm going to be pulling this out probably July 31st. Um, this is what the shades look like. They don't scream Christmas. They might scream gingerbread, but they don't scream Christmas. And you do have... Some colors that would make perfect like summer looks like this shade right here, which is Gumdrop, perfect in the summer. This shade right here, Hot Toddy, perfect in the summer. So you can use this palette all year round and I will be using that this week. Also from Too Faced, I am going to be using the Clover palette because I don't give this one much love. I was dying for this one to come out and couldn't wait to get it. And I got this and the makeup bag and the, the lippy and everything to go with it. But this is what this looks like. This one screams spring to me. So I can't wait to use this palette. Probably will be using it tomorrow. Those are all... The eye palettes I have, I do have one blush palette, and that is the Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette from Juvia's Place. And it looks like this. And this is the one with the lighter colors in it, which with my skin doing what it's doing now, would be perfect for my skin tone. And I have also, I think, two other blushes other than that blush palette one of them is a cream blush and this one is from doll 10 and it is um called the hydra gel cream balm and it's in the shade shameless and it looks like this really really neutral blush and i really like it i'm going to swatch that on my hand so you see what it looks like and it does show up on my skin tone it is really a really pretty blush it almost does that cream to powder type thing but it is really nice like that one. And I have one other blush, but it's a single from Juvia's Place. And this is the Serafina blush palette. I mean blush and it blush single and it looks like this. So I'll be using that this week also. I feel like I'm going through my makeup basket items really quickly. Either that or I don't have as much as I normally do. Um, but we are nine minutes, so I might. Some of this is getting cut off though, FYI. So I'm just going to pull out the lip products that I'm going to be using this week. The one that I have on my lips today is from Tarte. And this is from, I think, Holiday 2017. I think, 
holiday 2017 um, and this is the lippy lingerie in the shade lacy and it looks like this and this is what I have on my lips today no liner at all and I like that when I can just pop it on my lips and go I say that all the time I have a MAC lipstick from the Aaliyah collection and I haven't used this one yet and I'm dying and this is in the shade try again and this is the neutral this is so pretty I don't know why I didn't pull this out but it is a neutral and I believe it's a matte yeah this one is a matte um, I also have, which I did not get a chance to use this week, but that I just picked up from Ulta, the Maybelline. It's supposed to be for all shades and whatever, all these reds. This was in the shade Ruby for me. Nice, pretty red. And I think this one might be a satin and not a matte. I have a couple of the Bare Minerals Gen Nude lipsticks i have one in elite and elite is unique because it is sort of a frost really pretty i'm going to make this work this week you can see i probably wore it one time before but i want to try to make that work this week probably with the soft soft glam palette and i have one called rebound which is a nice spring color, but of course it is going to be used with a lip liner. I probably got this in like a trio or something from QVC and this color came because I wouldn't normally purchase that color, but it's still pretty and I can still make it work. And the last lip color I have is going to be on those days when I'm not even really tripping off of what lip color I'm going to wear. And this is from Givenchy bougie really bougie for me and i forgot what they call enter rouge i-n-t-e-r-d-i-t -E vinyl and it's in the color noir so it's a black it's a black sort of balmy type of lip color but when you put it on your lips and i'll put it here it turns to your sort of perfect shade of sort of a deep sort of mauve type pink color and this is what it is looking like on my hand here so as you can see it's not black but it is almost like a just like a dark berry color so that's going to be on my indecisive days that I'm going to throw that one to my lips I think that is it you all that will be my makeup basket for the week of march the 24th if you enjoyed the video please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are already subscribed to my channel please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when i have a new video coming out have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup bye